Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says simplify a to the power m upon a to the power n whole to the power m plus n into a to the power n upon a to the power l whole to the power n plus l into a to the power l upon a to the power m whole to the power l plus m. Before moving on to the solution, let's recall some laws of radical. We take let a be greater than 0 be a real number and we let p and q be rational numbers then we have a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power pq and a to the power p upon a to the power q is equal to a to the power p minus q now we have one more law which is a to the power p multiplied by a to the power q is equal to a to the power p plus q. This is the key idea to be used in this question. Now let's move on to the solution. The given expression is a to the power m upon a to the power n whole to the power m plus n multiplied by a to the power n upon a to the power l whole to the power n plus l multiplied by a to the power l upon a to the power m whole to the power l plus n. Now we apply the required laws of radicals in this expression. So this would be equal to, first we apply law of radical to this expression a to the power m upon a to the power n. From the key idea you can see that we will apply this law. So we get a to the power m minus n whole to the power m plus n multiplied by a to the power n minus l whole to the power n plus l. Here also we have applied this law only. This is further multiplied by a to the power l minus m whole to the power l plus m. Here also we have applied this law itself. Now next we shall apply the law a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power pq. So this would give us a to the power m minus n into m plus n multiplied by a to the power n minus l into n plus l multiplied by a to the power l minus m into l plus m. That is we get a to the power m square minus n square multiplied by a to the power n square minus l square multiplied by a to the power l square minus n square. Now we shall apply this law that is a to the power p multiplied by a to the power q is equal to a to the power p plus q. That is we will add these powers. We get a to the power m square minus n square plus n square minus l square plus l square minus n square. Now n square minus n square cancels, n square minus n square cancels, l square and minus l square cancels. So we get a to the power 0 and this is equal to 1. So on simplifying the given expression we get the value as 1. Hence 1 is the final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution for this question.